Tim Uso is here, back by popular demand apparently, previewing the upcoming match against Mosley. Looking to put Glenn Delaney under some pressure once again. We're here with Ed Dugdill from Chino Latinos. Ed, a big Nottingham rugby support. Ed, could you just go through uh, Chino Latinos, what they are and what the association they've had with the club over the last couple of seasons? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we support the uh, Man of the Month award. Um, so every uh, month a player wins a meal here. Uh, we love the association with the rugby club. We're really big into supporting the community, especially local sports team. Um, so we help out wherever we can. Uh, Chino's is a Pan-Asian restaurant. Uh, the restaurant's Asian and the bar is uh, focused on sort of Latino cocktails. Um, the guys come in quite a lot and obviously enjoy a few drinks and a bit of a feed here. Um, and if they uh, complain, I throw them out. <laughs> and I can tell you first hand, Ed, a great place to come for somewhere to eat and very, do a very good Halloween party. Thanks very much, Ed. Great stuff, thank you. Here with Director of Rugby, Glenn Delaney. Glenn, uh, tough loss on the weekend. Not often you go to Not uh, Doncaster and score 42 points and lose a game. Uh, a few of the boys on suicide watch Sunday. Uh, what's the wash up after Saturday? Yeah, pretty disappointing. I think last week, you know, when you get 15 points up, I think um, the reality is you'd expect to close it out. But uh, yeah, we're very disappointed to lose that game and um, learned a lot of lessons. And you know, we've worked really hard during the week to, to have a look at that, try and correct some of the things that didn't quite go so well. And um, you now we'll hopefully have a better showing on Sunday. And uh, Sione Kalamafana, you've just been telling me, it reminds me of a younger, fitter, faster, stronger Glenn Delaney. Just how good is he? Yeah, very much not quite in that category. I think he's, he's, he's a few levels up on me on a number of uh, key performance indicators. Um, not least the, the, the power to weight ratio, that's something I failed on. But uh, you know, yeah, he's certainly a, a, a fantastic athlete and um, you know, he's been a real, a real sort of inspiration at times for us with his ball carrying and uh, his all around work rate. He's, uh, he's been playing really well, so we hope that that'll continue. And we've got the match this weekend against Mosley. Mosley uh, have been a bit of a bogey team over the last couple of seasons, a very good tight five. Uh, just how do you expect the boys to go against them Sunday? Yeah, they're, they're an interesting side to play Mosley. They've always been very good on the break. Uh, they play from deep, they, they will counter-attack. They're, they're the sort of side that you, um, you want to make sure that you're on your game for because if you, uh, if you underestimate them, they'll, they'll hurt you badly. And uh, They've got some great players out in their back line. They're, they're front five. Um, they give them a good enough platform to get enough ball and uh, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll be very, very competitive but um, we're not so worried about what they're going to bring. We, we've got some things we've got to put right from last week so that's where our focus is uh, certainly lying today too. And a, uh, a familiar face coming back to Nottingham, the prodigal son returning Charlie Davis. Obviously not happy with the halfbacks you've currently got so thanks for that Glenn. Uh, looking forward to seeing him again at Meadow Lane? Yeah I am, obviously we're a bit down at the moment with um, one of our, I, I would call more senior halfbacks, just unavailable. I don't, I don't think he's actually injured, I, I just think he doesn't want it. Um, so bringing Charlie back in just brings a bit of energy and, uh, uh, and enthusiasm and um, you know Charlie's going to come in, he's dual registered from Wasp so that, that really proves that that system's working well. Uh, he'll start for us on the weekend, Finley Barnum's been playing very well but um, you know with only two halfbacks available for the weekend um, we're going to start Charlie. So uh, no, nice to see Charlie back and uh, you know certainly a lad who, who came through our academy system, uh, had a few travels and uh, someone we're still very much in touch with. And just before we name the team, Glenn, uh, one of the more popular figures in Nottingham Rugby, Sam the Alley Cat Raven, moving on to uh, a, a gig in France. Not just a big loss for the team on the field, but uh, certainly off the field as well. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, great for, for Ravo. What a servant of the club. I mean, um, you know, approaching 100 games, and uh, you know, it's a, it is a shame to see him go. You know, he's a, he's a great lad. He's done a fantastic job for us, and um, you know, we wish him well with his, his trip to France. And uh, you know, Toulouse is a great city, and uh, he'll certainly enjoy the, uh, I guess, the cosmopolitan vibe. He's got a lot to offer off the field of Sam, um, and I'm sure that um, we'll we'll have a, a number of sort of updates as to how he's performing both on and off the field in uh, in France. Well, it's a big loss for me personally, Glenn. It leaves me housemate list. So, just a quick plug. I'm not too fussy. Someone 5'8", female, um, enjoys long walks on the beach, romantic novels, sunset and star sign of Aries or Gemini. So, if anyone's got that, fits the bill, just uh, give Glenn a call, Nottingham Rugby. He'll put you through to me. Now, if you just name the team for the weekend, Glenn, that'd be great. Yeah, we'll go through it from the top. Uh, front row uh, will be uh, Johnny Harris. Uh, Tom Young's is back, so uh, the, the catalyst is, is back in the front row again, which is great. Uh, Tom French at tight head. Engine room of Callum Green and uh, Dan Hemingway. Uh, Hamo continues at six. Uh, Tommy Arms at seven and Sione at eight. Uh, Charlie, the, uh, the prodigal son as you've called him, uh, comes in at nine. Um, James Arledge, um, uh kicking uh, like a dream at the moment at ten, so he'll, uh, he'll carry on in that role. Uh, Jono's back in the midfield, which is a big boost for us as well. Uh, Tim Streeter alongside him at 13, and the, uh, the back three of, uh, uh, of Cobden back on his uh, more favoured right wing slot. Jackson to the left again, and Cesar Sempare at the, uh, at the back end. 
Thanks very much, Glenn. Look forward to the game Sunday. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Uh, probably a bit better last week, I thought. Thank you. Okay, here with Ed Dugdill from Chino Latinos, big Nottingham rugby fan. Ed, could you just go through your association with the club and uh, what uh, Chino Latinos have done for us for the past couple of seasons? Yeah, absolutely. We are the uh, Man of the Month sponsor, so obviously I help the guys uh, pick that out and they uh, receive a free meal here. Uh, Chino uh, does quite a, quite a lot of action within the community, um, so we're really in supporting uh, especially local sporting clubs. Let's give that another go, mate. Let's give that another go. Okay. Sorry, <laughs> We're here with Ed Doug so Dill. <laughs> here again with Glenn Delaney, a Nottingham rugby uh, director of rugby. Glenn, I'll oh, start that again. <laughs> start that again. Johnny Harris, prop. Tom Young's hooker. Craig Hemmen, back row. Tom Arms, flanker. Jack Cobden, wing. <laughs> James Arledge, fly half. Ben Johnston, centre. Cesar Sempere, fullback. <laughs>